here, you grew up here in Lexington. You've already won this race once before. To win it today, what does this mean for you on the way to the Derby now? Well, this isn't about me. This Mr. Fipke puts a lot of money in this game. He brings a lot of really quality mares, and he's he's he really studies it. He bred a really nice horse, and, and we're fortunate to have it in our hands. And, yeah, it's fun for me, but, listen, he's the one who put up the dough, and I'm thrilled for him. That break at the start, what were you thinking when you saw he was dead last? I wasn't worried. I mean, that's his running style. I mean, he's not a horse that's quick out of there. He's a big, long-strided colt. If you try to force him out, out away from there, you're just going to make it worse. But um, Julian did the right thing, and you know, he, got, he got him there. It was thrilling. You waited after the second-place finish to Verrazano in the Tampa Bay Derby for this spot. Certainly, I guess, no second guesses now. How does everything go now the next three weeks? Well, it was a, we looked at all our options, but um, it, it was a no-brainer. I mean, he'd run well on this track already, and um, it, the, the distance and the surface was, was good, and the timing was good. And who, who doesn't want to win at Keeneland anyway? But uh, let's keep our fingers crossed the next three weeks goes well, and next stop. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Kenny McPeak, the winning trainer here today with Jabba's Ward.